Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time here, welcome, and we are very excited to have you. And of course, if you are returning, hey, and I'm so glad that you're back. So today, we're gonna be looking at specifically planning a one-year-old's birthday party, and what do I need to expect? What do I need to get prepared? And how do I need to organize this? This is going to be very bare bones because you personally will have to go in and fill in all of the parts of course like what food you're going to eat and decorations and stuff like that. So before you do anything you have to get with your significant other and you have to set a budget. Now me and my husband have discussed it. We have set our specific budget that we want. Now. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much that is, only because we're waiting for the photographers to get back with us to tell us how much that's going to cost. So, budget's probably going to change between now and by the time I'm done editing the video. But, you have to set a budget. So, you're going to be looking at a multitude of things that you're going to be getting to get this party started. So, the very first thing, obviously, is you're going to have decorations. I mean, what's a party without decorations, right? So you have to decide, what am I going to be decorating and how much am I willing to spend on this specific part of the party? How much do I want to spend on decorating the venue or wherever you're having your party at? The second thing you need to think about is food. You're going to want to feed your guests, right? You don't want them starving. So you have to decide what kind of food are you going to do? Are you going to do light food, finger foods? Are you going to do heavy food? That is up to you. Now, me and my husband had discussed that specifically. He does a lot of barbecue competitions. So obviously he's going to want to do the food himself. So we will be going and buying the food and he will be cooking it instead of us having it catered or going out to a restaurant and saying hey I have 10 people coming to my house can you get me a quote on food for 10 people or even just doing finger foods and stuff like that. Our family is a big eating family. We love to get together, we love to have fun, and we love to enjoy a lot of barbecue. That's just how we are here in Texas of course. So we will be deciding on either a pulled pork or if we're going to do a brisket. We haven't quite, I guess, figured out what we're going to do. Most likely pulled pork though because that's my favorite. But anyways, moving on. Um, the next thing that you're going to need to think about, are you going to have a bounce house? Are you going to have a water slide? Now we have tossed the idea around personally, but I think we're going to opt to not do that only because of COVID-19. We're going to hardly have anybody here for the party to begin with. So we don't want to have a big old bounce house that we're renting out hourly that's not really going to get used because let's be honest, most of my, most of our adults that are going to show up here are probably not going to get on the bounce house and I don't think we're going to have any kids. So water slides, bounce houses, that's going to be out of the question because nobody's really going to even use it. But the story might be different for you guys. You guys might be planning on having several people, a lot more people than what we are going to have. So you probably want to have a bounce house. Again, you have to decide if that's going to be a part of your budget. And then you need to decide how much are you willing to spend specifically on that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we're planning on doing a one-year-old photography session. We still are waiting on pricing, so we don't know how much, but we're not going to have a photographer for the actual party. What we are personally going to do is we're going to do the pictures ourselves. I have a small time boutique and me and my husband do all the pictures for our website. So we personally are going to be taking the pictures during the party, but we wanted to do something special for our little girl for her one year old birthday party. And we just want to have some really cute and beautiful pictures done for her. So we're definitely going to hire out for her session, but we will not be hiring out for the party. So moving on from that, you have to think about, are you going to do a venue? That's the next big piece. Some people like to have their party elsewhere, like a park or for example, here in Texas, where we specifically live, we have this really great place called The Hub. 
and they have a section upstairs that you can rent out hourly for birthday parties. And personally, before COVID-19 hit, we discussed doing that, but now since everything has kind of changed, we're gonna go ahead and just do it at the house. You had to decide what you want to do. Some people's like, um, my house is kind of small and I don't want everybody there. It's all up to your comfort level and how you feel about having people around your home. You got to decide on that. Again, you do not have to go overboard. You don't have to go crazy. Just keep it simple. Now I do want to talk about decorations. I know we discussed it earlier, but you have to decide how much decorations do I need? What am I decorating? If we're having a party at my house and I had to personally decide what am I going to decorate. So this table that I'm currently sitting at, it is a eight person table and I do plan on taking this table and having it set up very cute, almost like a tea party cuteness for her party. So this area, this specific dining room area is going to be, um, decorated and then I'm also going to decorate around the nook in there where we have our breakfast table and then decorations outside because we have a nice pavilion outside that everybody likes to sit under and I want that area to be decorated as well. I'm going to be getting balloons and doing lots of different things but that again is up to you. You have to decide. Do you want to go minimum? Do you want to have a lot of decorations? That is completely up to you. So with everything that I've said, just remember the most important piece is try to stick to your budget. If there's something else that you want to add to it, go ahead. Now, like I said, this is like a bare bones structure of how to plan. Some people add other things that personally we never add to our parties. We do a lot of party planning around here because we always have birthday parties for moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas. We're always doing parties over here, so we always plan specifically to the bare bones that I just gave you. We focus on budget, then we focus on decorations. If, uh, well, now that we have a baby girl, if we're going to do any bounce houses or water slides, um, we focus on are we going to have a venue are we not going to have a venue what are we going to do for food and of course photography for her now on a normal party we do the photography during the actual party but we're going to have a session for her which i'm so excited about i have to show you guys pictures when i do her clean and decorate with me for her um her one-year-old birthday party which is in a month she's 11 months today so we have a month left till this party so I'm super excited. Now, I wanted to move on to another very important topic, the theme of your party. You cannot just go running out to the stores and start grabbing a whole bunch of stuff, but then you don't really know what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna give you a little rundown on how I figured out my daughter's theme and how I'm planning it currently right now and what I've got so far. So at the moment, well, a month ago, I was stuck. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to do elephants because I did elephants for her um, bedroom. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a princess theme, which I feel like she's too young for. I didn't know if I wanted to do a frozen theme, which then again, I still felt like she might have been too young for that because I mean, she's just turning one. I had no idea if I wanted to do Winnie the Pooh, if I wanted to switch it up. And I decided one day, I just stopped and I said, what does my daughter love the most? When I watch her and she sees different characters and stuffed animals, what does she specifically gravitate to? So she actually has two, but I picked one instead of the other. So her number one thing, she loves Olaf. Anytime she sees anything Olaf she's got, she laughs at it, she's got to have it, it's hers. She just loves it. But her next thing that she loves is Minnie Mouse. She loves a Minnie Mouse. I mean, she has a big stuffed Minnie Mouse that she plays with. Well, she doesn't play. She hugs a lot. And she's super excited when she sees that little stuffed Minnie Mouse. So clearly, I went with Minnie Mouse. 
Now, I want to show you a couple of things that I got. Here's where my thinking is with the decoration slash the theme. I will be doing balloons. I'm thinking about maybe a beautiful archway, some blow up minis is probably what I'm going to do. But I'm also going to show you the decorations, which I'm basically done buying and I didn't go crazy. Um, I don't know if these things have the price on them and I don't remember how much I spent. I did get everything at Party City. I can tell you that. So first thing, I mean, you can't have a party without goodie bags. So I did buy two packs of these goodie bags. Um, my main reason for buying two packs is because, <laughs> and that's probably silly, but I'm going to have the adults go home with a goodie bag too. So um, unfortunately, this does not have a price on it, but it does have eight bags in it. So I, had, I bought two bags. And this is also kind of like a, you have to put it together type thing. You have the little ears and the nose that you're going to have to put on the bag. So, of course, this will be fun for me. She won't be able to do it because she'll have no idea what she's doing. But I'm very excited about these bags. They are so stinking cute. And I cannot wait to put these together. They're, they're just perfect. Um, the next thing that I have is, obviously, you can't have a party if you do not have these beautiful i like to call them pinwheels which are not really pinwheels but you know that's what i like to call them but they're paper fans i love these things i feel like hanging these from the roof or the ceiling or whatever you're going to be hanging them from i feel like they really make a party they really make a party they set the party off because it's not just you don't walk in there and it's bland you have stuff hanging from the ceiling and you're looking at all the really beautiful colors so I'm very excited about this I can't wait to use this um, moving on from this and talking specifically about the balloons I had a plan of doing an archway of balloons for the pictures and having streamers behind it probably outside so everybody could take pictures now I don't have the little um, the stuff that you use for the little photo booth I haven't bought any of those yet but I do plan on getting some I don't know if I'm gonna go through Party City or if I'm gonna go through Amazon it's just whoever has the best deal again this does not have the price on it hmm. and they should really start putting their prices on their stuff okay moving on this is for decorating here let me get as close as i can this is for decorating your buffet table it says buffet table but we're going to be using this specifically for her um her candy table it's going to be like a little candy table we'll have probably oreos dipped in pink chocolate pretzel sticks dipped in pink chocolate, maybe some donuts, you know, just some small cute things. We're going to go overboard. We're going to try to keep it as simple as possible. But this thing right here is perfect. Now it does come with, um, let's see, two fan decorations, four string decorations, several tent cards, eight, 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 nine tent cards, um, some picks to use with your tent cards and a banner that says Minnie Mouse. So this is perfect. This is too cute. Um, very quickly coming back to this fan. It has six, eight, ten, five, eight, oh, it has about 17 fans in it. So that's that's gonna be pretty good. Um, moving on. So for the plates, I did decide to do this. This is going to be the plates. This is going to be for the food. And then I'm going to do just small pink polka dotted plates for the cake to keep it simple. I'm excited about this. I mean, these things are so stinking cute. She loves mini, so she's going to go crazy. And then the next thing that I think you guys are going to really love, look at this beautiful mini banner and with each of these little polka dots i'm going to be putting baby pictures from newborn all the way up to 12 months um i probably won't use every single one of the dots i'll probably do every other dot but we're going to be using this to display any of her pictures so again i don't know where i'm going to put this at yet but it's going to be you know maybe when we walk in 
or something, but we're going to use this. I can't wait for this. This is going to be perfect. And then the last thing that we incorporated in is this cute sign. It says, laugh, imagine, and dream. This sign is the little piece that we bought that we're going to put in her room as a memory of her one year birthday party, which we're so excited about. I cannot believe it has been one year almost since she arrived. Um, I just can't believe it. Um, of course, if you guys have any questions at all, do not hesitate to comment your questions. I will try to answer them as best as I can. And again, I'm so sorry. I don't have the prices, but I will definitely, if you want a price on any of this stuff, I will find it for you and I will let you know how much it costs. Um, thank you guys so much for staying till the very end. And again, if you haven't hit that big red subscribe button, go ahead and do that. And if you love this video, give me a big thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Bye.